Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn exclusively about simple lipids, their structure and their type. So the learning objectives will be to classify the simple lipids into different types and to explain the structure and the components of the two types of simple lipids. So first, what are simple lipids? Now simple lipids are the esters of fatty acid and various alcohols. The hydroxyl group of the alcohol part unites with the carboxyl group of the fatty acid as we have learned during, when we studied the structure of the lipids. So the hydroxyl group combines with the carboxyl group an ester bond is formed and thus these types of lipids are simple lipids. Now the fatty acid which is present it might have around 15 to 18 carbons in it and it can be saturated or unsaturated. Now we've learned what are saturated fatty acids, those which only have single bond in them. And the unsaturated ones, it means the carbon is not saturated with hydrogen and they have double bond in them. Now, on the basis of saturation also there can be division. So the lipids can be monounsaturated. It means that they just have one double bond in them and they can be polyunsaturated which means it has two or more than two double bonds. Now let us see how many types of simple lipids are there. Now basically simple lipids are just two types. They are neutral fats and waxes. Let us discuss one by one each one of them. So first the neutral fats. Now neutral as the name suggests Neutral fat means that they are neutral in nature. It means that there is no ionizable group present in them. There is no charge group present in them. Now, they are the most abundant lipids in the nature. What are they actually? They are simply one glycerol molecule combining with three fatty acids via the ester linkage. So what we study for the structure of the lipids is just the same for the neutral fats. So, 3-hydroxyl group of glycerol combines with 3 fatty acids and a resultant molecule is neutral fat or a triglyceride. So, the neutral fats are called glycerides. Now, if only one fatty acid is present, then it will be called a monoglyceride. And if two fatty acids are present, then it will be called a diglyceride. Now, next, how many types of triglycerides are there? So neutral fats also have subtypes. How? Let us see. So simple, simple neutral flat or we can say simple triglyceride which means that they just have one type of fatty acid. So the three fatty acids are same. So example is tripalmitin. So tripalmitin will have three palmitic acids in it. Then mixed. Mixed means that there are three fatty acids and those three fatty acids can be different or either two fatty acids can be same and one can be different. So this is how they are called mixed triglycerides. Example is stearodiolene. Now stearodiolene means stearo means stearic acid and diolene means two olic acids are present. Palmitosteroolene which means it has palmitic acid, stearic acid and olic acid. Now the next type of simple lipids which is waxes. What is the difference? The difference is basically on the basis of alcohol. So what type of alcohol group or how many alcohol groups are present decides what simple lipid is it. So in wax we don't have glycerol which has three OH groups. Which have, we have a simple aliphatic alcohol which has around 12 to 32 carbons and it is linked with a single fatty acid. You can see the structure, this is one fatty acid and this is one alcohol. So they are esters of long chain fatty acids with long chain aliphatic alcohols. So long chain monohydric alcohols which means single alcohol group, OH group is present. Now, the molecule are completely water insoluble which means that the waxes all of us have seen the waxes are generally solid in nature right the reason being that they are completely water insoluble and it is because of these hydrophobic nature you must have observed that on the plant surface there is a layer because of which the plants do not absorb the water the water just falls off a leaf the reason is these waxes they are strongly hydrophobic which allows them to function as a water repellent on the leaves. Also some insects, the outer layer of some insect is also water repellent. 
the feathers of the birds they are also water repellent all this reason is what the waxes the whales and fishes also store large wax in order to provide energy to them now let us see how many types of waxes are there so the waxes are widely distributed in nature there are of different types of waxes first is plant wax now plant wax why is wax important for the plant so wax coats the layer of the leaf as a result of which the leaf does not become turgid on absorption of water rather the excess water just flows out of the leaf or drips down from the leaf now a special type of wax obtained from palm tree which is carnauba wax carnauba wax obtained from brazilian palm tree it has around 32 carbon fatty acid and a 34 carbon alcohol this carnauba wax is very tough and also used as a glazing agent next is beeswax now the beeswax is secreted by abdominal glands of the worker bees you must have seen the honeycombs honeycombs that the bees makes it is full of wax apart from the honey so that wax is the beeswax it is a palmitic ester of mericyl alcohol so the fatty acid is palmitic acid and the alcohol is mericyl alcohol next is lanolin or wool fat wool fat the name is suggesting it is found in sheep so it is secreted by the cutaneous glands of the sheep and it is used in creams and ointments next type of wax is spermaceti now spermaceti is oil secreted from the head of the sperm whale now this is this type this is also very important commercially as lubricant so it is used as lubricant for watches the next type of wax is ear wax the wax which protects our ear from external agents so that wax is made up of phospholipids and esters of cholesterol so we have seen that the waxes have so many importance in day to day life thus to summarize we can say that the simple lipids are esters of fatty acids and different types of alcohol on the basis of alcohol that is the nature of the alcohol they can be of two types they can be neutral fats and they can be waxes now the neutral fats are nothing less than triglyceride so they are glycerol combined with three fatty acids to form a triglyceride they are neutral fats also known as glycerides and what are waxes the waxes are esters of long chain fatty acid with long chain alcohols and waxes have many many importances in the everyday life so this was all about simple lipids in next video we will discuss complex lipids or conjugated lipids till then thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning